Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about all the books I read in 2020 and going through my reading stats. Throughout the year I kept a track of the books I was reading on via yeah, a spreadsheet. It was a spreadsheet template created by Hardback Hoarder. I'll link her stuff down below. So during 2020 I kept track of all the books I read via Nat including like all the little details of like where I got it from, the genre, all that jazz. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So in 2020 I read 61 books, I read 16,700 pages and listened to 102 hours of audiobooks. The pages read and hours listened isn't 100% accurate because there are some books that I switched between reading the physical and listening to the audiobook. So in that case, I would just record down the amount of pages in the physical book compared to hours in the audiobook. I just worked out sort of the amount of pages I read. It works out that I read about, on average, 45 pages a day this year which is all right, it's not bad. <laughs> then we're gonna move on to ratings. So in 2020, I gave out 12 five stars, nine 4.5 stars, 25 four stars, nine 3.5 stars, four three stars, two 2.5 stars, and I DNF'd two books. The 2.5 star ratings were perhaps a little generous. I maybe could have given those books uh, two stars. I, I talked about in different vlogs what books I DNF just coincidentally, but just so you know, the two books I DNF'd this year were Serpent and Dove by Shelby Maherin and The Day of the Triffids by John Wyndham. In fact, talking about generous ratings, I think maybe a couple of the three stars might have been a bit generous as well. But either way, I'm happy with like the ratings I've given. It means, considering how many four star ratings I gave, I'd say it had a pretty solid reading year in terms of reading books that I liked. Per month, I pretty much average reading the same amount of books every month. So I usually read between four and six books a month, so like a book a week, which is pretty good. The big exception was in April, where I read eight books for the um, Magical Readathon. It says I only read two books in December, but I did reread a book, and I didn't really count that because I already read it this year, so yeah, there's that. <laughs> and in terms of the average ratings per month, I pretty much averaged that giving four stars, uh, except in August, my average rating was 3.5, same in December as well. I suppose you could say my best reading month in terms of rating was October, my average rating was 4.5. Then moving on to genre, the majority of the books I read in 2020 were contemporaries, I read 26 of them. My next, my next most read genre was fantasy, I read nine fantasy books, then I read six graphic novels, five poetry books, five sci-fi, four non-fiction, three historical, one mystery, and one thriller. It's a bit funny how I'm always like, yeah, I don't read fantasy. When it is my second most read genre, but it's only nine books compared to the 26 contemporaries. And I can tell you right now, half of those books were the Hunger Games series, including the new prequel. So yeah, if I didn't decide to reread the Hunger Games trilogy this year, that number would have been a lot lower. In 2021, I do want to read more thrillers. So hopefully when I do this video next year, that number will be a lot higher. I'd also perhaps like to read a couple more mystery novels and I didn't read any magical realism slash fabulism this year and that is something I want to try and get into. Similarly with historical fiction, every historical fiction book I've read I've pretty much just given it like a 3, 3.5 star rating. So in 2021 I was finding a historical fiction book that I really love. In terms of book format I read 45 physical books, 13 audiobooks and 4 ebooks and of those books 39 of them I bought, then I read 12 from Scribd, 5 that were gifts, 3 from Audible, 3 from the library, and 1 was borrowed. The one borrowed book was from my dad, from his like personal library I guess. Yeah, I did make a resolution in 2020 to use the library a lot more, but then of course they all closed because of the pandemic. So perhaps I could use like the Libby app a bit more. This year I do actually want to get into reading more ebooks. I've got the Kindle app on my iPad, my phone and, and because I'm kind of running out of space for books like on my bookshelves and stuff there are some books that I want to read via Kindle just as a space saver really but if there are books that I really want to physically own then I will end up buying them. Next we have Author Race. I say right off the bat I'm not too happy about and it's already something I definitely want to improve on with my reading in 2021. So in 2020 I read 40 books from white authors, 18 books from black authors, 2 books from Asian authors and 2 books from mixed race authors. I personally want to aim for the stat to be a bit more 50-50, especially in terms of the white authors compared to other races and in general in 2021 I want to kind of expand my knowledge of other cultures like especially with indigenous authors, Asian authors, Latinx authors. I really want to make 
a conscious effort to do that. So hopefully by this time next year, this pie chart will be a bit more mixed and it'll be a bit more diverse. Then let's talk about book audience. I read 36 young adult books, 21 adults, two middle grade, one new adult and one children's book. I had a bit of a realisation in 2020 that I've grown out a little bit of some YA. Like there's just some young adult books that I just like don't really vibe with anymore. There's, there's certain types of books that aren't really for me. So I do want to try and read a few more adult books. Also on the opposite end of the spectrum I would quite like to read more middle grade. Now let's talk about how much money I spent on books this year. Just for some full transparency, I still live with my parents so a lot of the costs that I would have if I didn't live at home are reduced and obviously with the pandemic I was kind of like in and out of work a bit but I did get some financial aid and personally I don't spend my money on much else. I kind of just spend my money on like the essentials. I don't really spend money on clothes. No shade or anything if you do. Yeah, just thought I'd be clear about I guess my financial situation, even though I've spoken very vague terms. Um, but the amount of money I spent on books this year was £232.71. And out of the books I read this year, I read 67% of them which pretty damn good I think. I actually still have books on my shelf that I bought in like 2013 and I still haven't read them. So I think that's pretty good going. I'm getting better at reading books as soon as I buy them, especially because a lot of these were new releases. And obviously this is my first year like kind of tracking my reading. So I don't really have anything to compare to with this specific stat. But I feel like I bought a few more new releases this year when previously I was quite bad at doing that, especially buying them immediately on release. So I feel like this number was probably a bit higher than previous years. But I was gonna say, um, apparently I bought the most books in June. I bought seven books. Do with that information what you will. <laughs> and finally, moving away from the spreadsheet, we're gonna be looking at my Storygraph stats. Storygraph is a new kind of bookish social media platform. It's like an alternative to Goodreads. I'll leave a link to it down below. I'll leave a link to my profile down below as well. I guess one of the big initial differences of Goodreads is that it gives you reading stats, like really breaks down like the books you read. So I thought I'd go through a couple of those because I thought they might be interesting. So firstly, about the moods of the books I read. I read mostly emotional books, so I read 37 emotional books, 26 reflective, 14 light-hearted, 13 hopeful, 11 adventurous, and then going down, 9 dark books, 8 tense, 8 challenging, 7 funny, 5 mysterious, 4 inspiring, and then one informative and one sad book. So yeah, that makes sense to me. I don't really read a lot of sad books. Then in terms of pace, I mostly read medium paced books. I've read 26 of those this year. 22 fast paced books and then 11 slow paced books. It makes complete sense. I don't really go for slow paced books. I like something that's quite speedy and gets to the point a bit. And for page numbers, as we can see from this, I really don't like reading big books. Or not I don't like them. I get intimidated by the length of a big book. So I mostly read books between 300 and 499 pages. I read 33 of those. Then I read 20 books that were under 300 pages and I read only 5 books that were under 500 pages. I can tell you right now that 3 of those were the Illuminate Files trilogy. One of them was The Bard of Songbirds and Snakes, the Hunger Games prequel. Then we also have this big bar chart of all the genres I read which is a bit more detailed than the spreadsheet. So we've got apparently counts young adult as a genre but <laughs> That's beside the point. So yeah, my top five genres, I guess, are young adult contemporary, LGBTQIA plus books, romance and science fiction. Then we have this quite interesting graph of numbers of books and pages per month, which take from this what you will, decipher what you want from it. As you can see in November, I read <laughs> quite a lot of pages. Shout out to the Illuminate Files for that. So yeah, there we have it. Those are my reading stats for 2020. Definitely want to do this again for my reading year in 2021. I find stats and stuff like this genuinely quite interesting and it gives you a lot of perspective and it can give you stuff to like work on and a good method for giving you goals of what you want to read. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to give it a thumbs up and comment down below what your most read genre this year was. Subscribe to my channel if you fancy it. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs> Oh!